Hi, my name is Helen Nielsen. I'm a political scientist at Aarhus University. In this video, I will uh, briefly introduce a paper that I co-authored with my colleague Vibeke Liemann Nielsen. The title of the paper is Different Encounter Behaviors, Businesses and Encounters with Regulatory Agencies. And the paper was just published in Regulation and Governance. Now in this paper, we empirically derive a typology of behavior of regulated businesses in uh, encounters with regulatory agencies. Why is this interesting? Well, we know that the interactions at the front lines of regulatory agencies matter for the outcomes of public policy, uh, for instance, whether businesses comply or not. We also know quite a lot about the behavior of the frontline workers, the public employees, and uh, how their behavior impacts both the interactions and the outcomes of these encounters. We know much less about the behavior of the regulated businesses, even though we would also expect their behaviors to uh, impact uh, the outcomes of regulatory encounters. So we set out to study um, whether we could identify behavior types that vary among individual regulatees, but apply across regulatory settings. In other words, a set of generic behavior types. And uh, we conceive of behavior as multidimensional. That is, each encounter involves a composite of behavioral responses. We base our paper on survey data that we gathered among Danish businesses, small, medium size, um, and we had two samples. One sample was uh, among, drawn among businesses who are likely to have encounters with environmental authorities. The other sample was among businesses who might uh, have encounters with tax authorities to increase uh, the, the sense of realism here. Now, this is a survey, so we're not measuring actual behavior. You might say we're measuring stated behavior or intended behavior. But in order to situate the study uh, closer to a real world setting, we used vignettes in our survey. So these are scenarios of um, an encounter with uh, uh, authorities, or environmental authorities or tax authorities. And after each situation, we would then ask uh, the respondents to uh, indicate uh, how likely they would be to respond in a certain way on a number of gif, uh, different behavior items. We then used uh, an exploratory cluster analysis, latent class analysis, to see if we could discern uh, behavior, actual behavior types that are, that is um, distinct response patterns across behavior responses that would then constitute types. And we did, uh, see in our data five different behavior types. For the sake of illustration, we've placed them in a two-dimensional space here. So on the horizontal axis, we have degree of engagement. So to what extent do the respondents engage with the public authorities in the different scenarios we described? And on the vertical axis, we have a degree of opposition. So uh, on the high end there, we have sort of mostly negative types of encounters with uh, public agents. And on the opposite end, we have more uh, positive types of engagement. So that would be a low degree of opposition. Now I won't go through the five types, I will mention them. We have fighters, protesters, accommodators, cooperators, and game players with the labels we assign based on the behavioral response patterns. But just to give you a flavor, you can say that the fighters in the upper right corners a very uh, have show a very high degree of engagement, uh, but also a high degree of opposition. So they would challenge the authorities. They might question their legitimacy, but they may also come with more constructive suggestions uh, for, you know, in order to uh, improve their own situation. Protesters, on the other hand, have relatively low level of engagement, but the types of engagement they did show was uh, more of an oppositional kind. So they were less in there to shape uh, the, the encounter, but they did protest such as questioning legitimacy, et cetera. Um, 
so we think that this typology uh, contributes, uh, provides a unique contribution to the research, to research on uh, business behavior and regulatory encounters. Uh, we, th we think it's unique because it provides a comprehensive framework for analyzing uh, behavior in uh, a large uh, uh, N setting. Obviously, this was done in a Danish context, and we think it would be uh, really useful to have it tested also in other settings. It could be other regulatory areas, other countries. So if you're interested and might want to do that, we urge you to uh, check out the paper in Regulation and Governance.